Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Becca's Book Nook. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to properly read The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Obviously the order that I'm going to be showing you guys is subjective and it is just my personal opinion. Everyone has their own opinion on how you should read this series, but this is the way that I personally believe it should be read and I always get a ton of questions about this so I thought I would make a short video explaining. I hope this is helpful to anyone wanting to start the series. I do recommend it to literally anyone who loves fantasy or just reading in general. It's a phenomenal series and let's get into the order. The first book that I believe you should read in the Throne of Glass series is, of course, Throne of Glass. This is the first book in the actual story. I know lots of people think that you should read the prequel Assassin's Blade novella before this book, but I personally think this is the best place to start since you're getting a good introduction to our three main characters as well as a few other important characters and it just starts the whole series off in a great way. So I do personally believe that you should start with this one as the first book you read in the series. Next up you can then read Crown of Midnight which is the Book that naturally comes after Throne of Glass. This one is in my opinion the slowest one in the series. You do just sort of need to get through it, get over the hump to get into the really interesting high fantasy sort of aspects of the series. Um, once you get through this you're into the most exciting parts of the whole series but uh, it is the one that I think you should naturally read second. Next, I do think that everyone should read Air of Fire, which is the natural third book in the actual series series. This is where the series starts to get a little bit more fantastical, more fantasy elements are brought into the story. Um, where before it was more just about Selena being an assassin, this these books just sort of move into the more fantasy areas by including different mythical and other sort of groups of people for example you get introduced to a few new important characters and as well as witches which we hadn't really met on a grand scale in the books before so this is where the fantasy part of the series really starts to kick up and you meet some new characters and I think it's important that you just read this book third. Directly after Air of Fire is where I believe you should read The Assassin's Blade which is the prequel novella. You get to learn a lot more about Selena's past and important people and characters in her life from her time in the Assassin's Guild and because you get introduced to some of those characters in the next book I believe that it's important for you to read this one before that and directly after Air of Fire and before the next book in order to just sort of have a better understanding of what her life was like before the start of the series and because you meet important characters to her in the next book and because you just learn emotional stuff about her past that she sort of deals with and talks about in the next book. Right after Assassin's Blade you can read what I think is the best book in the series, Queen of Shadows. This is where the books start getting pretty hefty. Air of Fire is pretty big but I feel like this one is where they start to just slowly get bigger. Um, so yeah you get introduced to quite a few new characters in this book that you learn a lot about in Assassin's Blade and they're like key characters to this story which is why I think that it's crucial you read Assassin's Blade directly before this book. It just makes the most sense to me in order. Um, I feel like I've seen lots of people saying that you should read it in this order as well um, but then there are the people that of course think that you should read the prequel before the series starts but I just think this is the order that makes the most sense for where Assassin's Blade is in the timeline and you're just introduced to all the characters in this book so it just objectively makes the most sense and it'll help you have a better reading experience. Next two books in the timeline that we have are Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. I know there are a lot of people in the Throne of Glass community and Sarah J Maas community that say that you can really get the best experience by tandem reading these two books so reading them sort of at the same time like read a chapter for a chapter of each book just because the storylines are happening at exactly the same time but 
I personally think that that could start to get a little bit confusing. I feel like I wouldn't really be able to keep track of what's going on, but that might just be me. And if you feel like you can tandem read these and have it make sense to you, then I definitely would recommend to do that because the storylines are so interwoven and the characters are finding out things at the same time because this book follows our sort of main group of people and then this book follows a character that has sort of been split off from the group and is meeting new people and learning new things about their mission. I personally read this book sixth because I just wanted to sort of like meet the crew or and stay with the crew and see what was going on in that sense and because I'm not a massive fan of the character that was in Tower of Dawn but then I believe that you should read this one seventh because it just makes the most sense to read this one directly before the things that happen in Kingdom of Ash. I actually didn't do it that way because I was so against reading Tower of Dawn. I ended up reading it afterwards like months after I had finished the series but then I was just so lost reading Kingdom of Ash like there were so many new things that you discover in Tower of Dawn that just make no sense if you don't read it <laughs> so I definitely think Empire of Storms should come sixth because it's really important to read it obviously right after Queen of Shadows is when it takes place and then I do think you should read Tower of Dawn directly before Kingdom of Ash just so that you have the best understanding of the new things you learn and what's going to be going on in Kingdom of Ash. And finally the last book in the series is Kingdom of Ash, this absolute monster of a book. I believe it is like 980 pages or something like that, like really close to a thousand. So much goes on in this book and it's so so important that you read all of those books before you get to this one because it is the last one and obviously you're going to be hella confused if you don't read the other books. I am so happy that I did finally get over my hatred of the one character to read Tower of Dawn because it ended up being a really really great book and it just helped explain so many of the more confusing and new things that happen in Kingdom of Ash that I would have just been so lost if I didn't read it. So I am happy that I read all of those books eventually and I really think that they're all important to read before Kingdom of Ash. And yeah, and then you're done the series after this one. I hope this video was helpful for anyone hoping to start the Throne of Glass series. It is definitely one of my favorite series of all time. So I hope anyone watching this is doing so in preparation for reading those books because it's just such a good series. And I feel like Akatar gets a lot of appreciation and recognition. And I know Throne of Glass is popular too, but I just wish more like people would read it after reading Akatar <laughs> and then like giving it as much appreciation because I think I honestly like this series more than I liked Akatar. Like I love those books too but Throne of Glass was just such a journey and I just spent so much time crying because I was so attached to the characters and I just loved them all so much. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, feel free to comment down below if you agree with my order or if you have a different one. I would love to hear everyone's opinion and thank you guys all so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!